Attila, king of the Huns, from 434 to 453 AD. Attila the Hun served as emperor of the Hunnic Empire. Attila was also known as Flagellum Dei, or the Scourge of God, and was feared by the Romans for his ruthlessness and propensity for pillaging and plundering their cities. He is regarded as one of the greatest barbarian kings in history because he increased the Huns' sphere of influence and kept an almost undefeated combat record. Attila's early life. The Huns were a nomadic tribe from Central Asia that, according to academics, may have started to invade Europe as early as the 2nd century AD. By the middle of the 4th century, the majority of the Huns had successfully invaded Europe and vanquished the Alans. Additionally, they invaded the Pontic steppes and drove thousands of Goths into the lower Danube Roman cities in search of safety. Shortly after this event, maybe at the beginning of the 5th century AD, Attila was born in the region north of the Danube. Even though the Huns were regarded as barbarians by ancient Rome, Attila's childhood was anything but brutal. Attila was a member of the Hunnic Empire's most powerful family, along with his older brother Bleda. The Hunnic Empire was ruled by the Hun brothers' uncles, Octor and Ruga, in the late 420 seconds and early 430 seconds. As a result, Attila and Bleda picked up skills including archery, sword combat, lasso use, horsemanship, and military and diplomatic strategies. The brothers could have read and written Latin and Gothic. Coming into power, Octor and Ruga passed away in 434, leaving the Hunnic Empire to Attila and Bleda. In order to extend the Hun Empire into Germany, Octor, the king of the Western Wing, is said to have overindulged before passing away. The Eastern Roman Empire was Ruga's enemy, and when conquering Thrace, he reputedly perished from a lightning bolt. Ruga was the Eastern Monarch. The empire that Attila and Bleda succeeded to covered a vast area that reached from the Rhine to the Caucasus and the limits of Sasanian Iran. Early on in his reign, Attila formed an alliance with the Western Roman general Aetius, a former hostage of the Huns. The Burgundian kingdom of present-day Poland was destroyed by Attila and Aetius during the years 436 and 437. Aetius would continue to receive military assistance from Attila and Bleda, enabling the Romans to quell internal uprisings and other Germanic tribes' threats. Peace of Margus Prior to his death in 434, Ruga threatened all-out war against the Roman Empire if it did not extradite the missing Hunnic princes. Emperor Theodosius II chose to negotiate, and the 438 Peace of Margus was the end consequence. The Roman Empire agreed to pay Attila and Bleda 700 pounds of gold every year as part of the stipulations of the peace deal. The Roman Empire kept its word, but the peace did not last. In 441, the newly founded Vandal Allen Kingdom in North Africa received an army from the Eastern Roman Empire. The Roman army, which had reached Sicily, was forced to turn around to fight the Huns when the Hunnic kings used this opening to invade the Balkans. However, it is said that Attila and Bleda did not consider their conduct to violate the peace agreement. Instead, they alleged that the Roman Empire had withheld the return of some Hunnic fugitives and that the Bishop of Margus had stolen wealth from their royal tombs. By 443, the Huns had conquered other cities along the way, including Sertica and Nasus. They had also traveled as far south as Constantinople. Theodosius was coerced into signing a new treaty by Attila, which stipulated that the Huns would be given the missing fugitives and paid 2,100 pounds of gold annually in addition to 6,000 pounds of gold in one big sum. What Attila did in the two years that followed the peace agreement is unknown. But once his brother died in 445, Attila took over as the only emperor of the Hunnic Empire. According to experts, Attila ordered the murder of his brother. Hunnic Empire rises. Again, the Romans' tranquility was short-lived as Attila launched his most devastating offensive against the Eastern Roman Empire in 447. At the river Eutis, where he also sustained significant losses, and later at Chersonsis on the Gallipoli Peninsula, Attila utterly destroyed the Roman armies. He and his Huns then raided the Balkans and well into Greece, but were halted at Thermopylae, forcing the Romans to negotiate yet another peace treaty with severe repercussions. At this point, the Hunnic Empire was at its most powerful and extensive. Attila ruled over Scythia, Germania, and Scandinavia. Attila had been friendly with the Western Roman Empire up until that point, in part because of his friendship with General Aetius. However, that changed in 450 when Princess Honoria, the sister of Western Roman Emperor Valentinian III, pleaded with Attila for assistance. Honoria wished to avoid the arranged union that her brother was pressuring her into with an aristocracy. Attila received a note from her along with a ring which he mistook for a proposal of marriage. 
The Hunnic monarch claimed Honoria as his newest bride. He had already married several times and demanded payment for her dowry equal to half of the Western Roman Empire. Attila was not one to give up easily and fought war against the Western Roman Empire when Emperor Valentinian III refused. Attila's final years and death. Attila attacked Gaul in the spring of 451 with 200,000 of his warriors. He engaged the Roman army under his former ally General Aetius, which had allied with the Visigoths and other barbaric tribes of Gaul. At the renowned Battle of Catalonian Plains, the forces eventually engaged in combat. In the end, the combined troops against the Huns prevailed despite the death of the Visigoth ruler and the destruction of the majority of the Western Roman army. Back in Central Europe, Attila's army made a retreat. The conflict is usually regarded as Attila's first and only defeat on the battlefield. Despite his unsuccessful attempt to conquer Gaul, Attila attacked Italy the very next year, in 452. After meeting with Pope Leo I, he apparently decided to back down after dismissing both Milan and Aquileia, among other cities. After a large feast and excessive drinking on his wedding night to his new wife Ildico, Attila passed away in bed in Ad. 453 from what was thought to be a nosebleed brought on by a brain hemorrhage.